Hey everyone, it's Kino here. Thanks for tuning in and practicing every day on this beginner yoga challenge. You might be feeling a little tired and sore. Don't stop now, you're almost halfway there. This is the perfect time to continue your journey. Today is all about Bakasana, the crane pose, a powerful arm balance that requires a strong core and strong shoulders and a strong mind. Bring your hands together and inhale. You don't need to be strong already, but this is all about developing and cultivating the inner spiritual strength to be a yogi on your mat and in every breath of your life. We're going to start off with plank. Bring your hands to the mat and come onto your hands and knees. All right. Now you're familiar with plank by now and it's a powerful warm up. So let's start here. Widen through the shoulders. Draw the belly in. Make sure the shoulders are over the palms. Hold the hands and knees plank five breaths. One two, three, four, and five. Exhale, dip down. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, 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 down. Inhale, take it up. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Inhale, move it forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. And exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Exhale back. As you go forward, tighten the abs, round the back. Move it back. Two more. Come on forward. All the way back. Forward. And back to child's pose. Knees down. Rest for a moment. Find the emptiness in the pelvis. Find the pelvic floor. Cultivating an awareness of the pelvic bowl. Come on back up, taking the hand shoulder width apart, round the back, and now we're gonna really prepare for Bakasana, the arm balance called the crane pose. Keeping the elbows straight, drop your head down, and then bring the right knee into the chest. One, two, hold it in, three, four, and five. Inhale, reach it back, exhale in. Inhale back, three more, all the way in. And reach it back, all the way in. Reach it back, one more, all the way in. All the way back, hold it in. Two, three, four, reach it back, release the hip. One, two, doing good, three, four, and settle it down. Let's do the other side. Press up from the shoulders, all the way in. One, two, use the abs, three, four, and five. Reach it back, and exhale, pull it in. Inhale, reach it back. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, reach it back. Exhale, pull it in. Inhale, reach it back. Few more. Pull it in. Reach it back. Use the abs all the way in. All the way back. Hold it in. Two, three. Strong shoulders. Four and five. Hold it back. One, two, three, four. Knees down. Open the knees a little and fully released. Hold it there for a moment. And let's come all the way back up to the hands and knees. And we'll build it all the way back up to a plank. So here we go. Curl your toes under and inhale. Plank, five breaths. One, two, three, four. Exhale, dip down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. All the way up. Exhale, down. All the way up. Tighten it. Hold it. One. Move it forward. Forward. Back. Forward. Back. Forward. Back. We get a jet ski coming through. Forward. And back. Forward. Back. All the way forward, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, let's settle in downward facing. Five breaths. One, two, three, four, and five. Switch the gaze forward and let's come all the way forward to plank. Hold plank again. Now we're going to do plank, knee into the chest. This is a great prepare for the core work of bakasana. Move it forward. One, two, three, four, step it back, left side, one, two, three, four, step it back again, one, two, three, four, step it back again, one, two, three, almost there, four, and five, again, one, two, three, four, back to the three-legged dog, reach it up, bend the knee, open the hip for a moment, Bring it back to the center, settle it down. We still gotta do the left side. So, 
So switch your gaze forward and left side. Two, three, four, and five. Send it back. Hold it there for a moment. Stabilize the right leg. Then pop the hip open, release it. Leg up, send it down. Downward facing, couple of breaths. Two, three, four. Knees down, full child's pose, rest. Find the pelvic bowl. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Full deep breath in, full deep breath out. Calm the mind. Gently bring the head forward, cross your legs underneath you, and let's come on to seated. We're not yet ready to move to Bakasana, but we will be very soon. Point your toes, and then we're gonna practice the position of where to place the elbow. So in Bakasana, it's an arm balance. You have to use the legs, but your body lifts itself. Bring the arms forward and place the knees right onto the elbows. You won't be able to do Bakasana from here because if you're underneath your elbows, you won't have a balance point. So just slide forward until the elbows are just past the knees, keeping your toes pointed, feet on the ground. One, two, three, four, and hold the knees, bring them back together, and if possible, sink back. Again, open the knees, try to keep the toes together at least, and then reach the elbows forward, lift the knees on the outer edges of the elbows, and this is a floating bakasana. One, two, three, four. Knees together, send it down, hold it in for a moment. We're gonna repeat that one more time. Point the toes, lift it back, open the knees, Arms forward, try not to lift the arms too much. Hands right at the height of the shoulders and use the abs to pull it in. Remember your pelvic bowl, gaze easy straight ahead. Two, three, keep the belly drawn in. Four, doing good. And five, just to get a little lift up, we cross the feet. Inhale, lift the hips up. Exhale, place them down. Now, walk the feet underneath you and easy come on to your hands and knees. In order to get ourselves up to Bakasana, we have to practice how to bend the elbows. In Bakasana position, when you first do the pose, there's gonna be a soft, very slight bend in the elbows just to give you a little bit of leverage. A lot of times what will happen when, when people bend the elbows for Bakasana, they'll bend the elbows out and you'll destabilize the shoulder, activating your trapezius. You wanna drop the elbows back, keeping the elbows over the palms. We're gonna practice this. Aim your head forward, tucking your head under, gaze at the knees, press up from the shoulders, round the back, exhale, head down, lift the toes, inhale, take it up, exhale, head down, inhale, take it up, exhale, head down, inhale, all the way up, exhale, down, inhale, all the way up. Let's do it a few more times. Exhale, down, inhale, up, and exhale, down, inhale, up, exhale, down, hold it down, one, belly inside, two, three, four, inhale up. Now I got a little challenge for you. We're gonna go a little forward, little bend in the elbows, lift the toes, but don't put the head down. Sort of reach it almost in the direction of the ground. Three, four, and straighten the arms. Okay, back to child's pose. A few breaths here. Two, three, four, and now we're preparing to take flight. So we're preparing for Bakasana. And inhale, come on back up. Curl your toes underneath you. We're gonna start off in a squat. So reach those toes under, open the knees and pop it back. As you aim your chest between the thighs, open the groins and your hands in prayer. This is building the flexibility that will get you a deeper version of Bakasana. Squeeze the knees onto the shoulders, press the shoulders back onto the knees and we'll hold this for five breaths. One. Keep the belly drawn in, two. Use your front body to really build stabilization. Feel the lower abs, feel the pelvic bowl. Three, four, and here we go. Take the hands down, come up onto the balls of the feet, pressing the knees as close into the armpits as you can. Wrap the elbows in and start to lean forward. Aiming the crown of the head forward, not up, just forward. Keep your gaze forward of your fingertips and let's lift your left leg for five breaths. One, two, big push from the shoulders. Three, wrap the elbows in. Four and five, left foot down, right foot up. One, keep moving forward. Two, keep moving forward. Three, keep pushing with the shoulders. Four and five, touch your toe down, back to the squat. 
Rest here for a moment, hands in prayer. One, two, three, four, and we'll do it again. Hands come forward, wrap the elbows in. Let's settle the knees up in towards the armpits. Come forward, forward, forward. So avoid bending too back and avoid taking it too up. So this arm balance is a combination of strong shoulders and a firm core. Don't sag your body down and don't flatten your back. Remember that crown of the head is forward and the lift comes from under. Okay, here we go. Hands down, grip the fingertips, knees into the armpits, send the shoulders forward. Again, slowly, slowly, forward. Crown of the head moves forward, strong shoulders, tighten the abs. Then slowly bring your toes together and see if you can just catch a little bit of air like a mini bird. You're a baby bakasana right now. One, two, three, four. Touch the toes back down and open the feet. Hands in prayer. Settle there. Doing good. We're gonna see if we can become a full crane. We're gonna see if we can fully take flight into Bakasana. Okay, stabilize, calm your mind. Remember, if you just wanna lift one foot and the other foot, no problem. It's a slow journey. Bakasana took me about a year of consistent practice before I felt moderately comfortable. So never rush the journey. Let every breath count. Relish each breath and just savor each practice. And here we go. Hands come forward, gazes down on the mat ahead of your fingers. Grip your fingertips, root down through the heels of the hand. Press up from the shoulders like you're in plank. Then knees settle into the armpits, moving the shoulders forward. Gently bring the feet together and then little up as you press from the shoulders and slowly knees press into the arms, wrap the elbows. One, two, three, four, and just easy sink it down okay let's come all the way back to our nice squatted position and a few breaths here you did good however high you got no problem right we're just learning how to fly we got to learn so here we are from here we gave it three tries for our bakasana you're welcome to repeat once or twice more but never more than five or it starts to be punitive you can't force the body take the hands forward and let's step it all the way back to plank pose hold plank for a moment exhale chaturanga inhale upward facing exhale downward facing Looking forward, inhale, step your right and your left foot forward, nice and easy, stretching the legs out. Pause for a moment, bring the right leg in, slowly moving around and easy, reach around for a calm spinal twist. The beginning of the pose called Marichasana C. One, two, three, four, and back to the center, hold that right knee in. Switch the sides, left leg pulls into the body, inhale, exhale, reach around, look over the left shoulder, keep the body up and the torso close to the thigh, two, the mind calm, equanimous, four, and five. Back to the center, pull the knees into your chest, give yourself a little squeeze, and slowly let's lie all the way down, roll the spine, stretch the legs, close your eyes. Pause for a moment with the recognition that all is good. You are okay. The effort that you put in is all that matters. It doesn't matter what the shape of the pose looked like. It's just the inner experience that defines your yoga. Reach down with the mind as the mind steadies and begins to be stronger. Let your focal point home in on the deepest sensation of the inner body. Let that wash over you like a warm white light. Then gently move the fingers and toes. Bend the knees and the elbows for a moment. Let a soft smile shine from the heart center and then pull it into your chest a little squeeze, roll, roll, over to the side. Come on back up to a comfortable seated position. Congratulations on becoming a crane, putting in your best effort for bakasana. You did great today. The quality of your effort is really all that matters. Yoga is a lifelong journey, a path towards inner peace. 
Bring your hands together. And inhale. Thank you so much for letting me be your guide on the inner tradition of yoga. Thank you for committing yourself to the practice, one breath at a time. Remember to tune in tomorrow for day 15. You're halfway there. Namaste.